All right, so this video, I'm gonna be going over Kali Linux NetHunter and the basics. So hit the power button. It actually turns on pretty quick. It's pretty responsive. There's like no smooth delay. And then the default password is one, two, three, four, hit unlock. Okay, so here I just installed um, Aircrack. So it uses a Debian and then it uses like mobile, mobile Jaro or something like that. So, I'm going to clear, so control L. So they really optimized the keyboard for Linux. So we've got the option button, the switch, escape, tab, control, alt, and then we have the arrow keys up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do control L to really clear the screen. And so see if I can zoom in, or I'll do it this way, actually. Here we go. So I'll do a su oh, oh, pseudo. Um, apt, let's see if I could do an update so I can tab and then I want to do a fix missing actually fix tab or I guess it doesn't work missing if this works then I'll be able to hit enter so it's working I'm connected to the Wi-Fi and it says release file is not valid yet uh, for another 146 days. So it's like my time is off, but there's a few things there. So it's just kind of interesting. That was one of the last things I was doing. So let's go back from scratch. How does uh, Kali Linux work, NetHunter? So I've got the app screen here. This is kind of what it opens up to. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four unlock it opens up to here like the app screen so i'm just gonna go here we've got the phone we've got messages got the web browser so we're gonna go let's try looking up um we'll go to exploit db wait db we'll see what browser it uses it uses duck duck go by default okay Here's exploit DB, so it loads up pretty fast. And there we go. So it seems to be using probably some Chromium based browser. So that's pretty nifty. And then it goes, when I close it, it goes back to the screen right here. Calculator, don't need to go over that. Calendars, it's clocks. Document viewer, it looks like an Adobe FOSS version. So if I want to go back up and just close out apps, I can do that here and just swipe up. Uh, I'm going to have two apps. I'll have a calculator open as an example. Then swipe up, close the calculator and switch that way. It'll back, it goes back here. Uh, Endeavor, Firefox, Image Viewer, Lollipop for videos, Maps. So this is the Maps. So I'm connected to Wi-Fi, so I'm going to see how this will work. So if I do this, what, how will this load? I'm curious. Uh, it is, let's turn this sideways. Maybe it will change. Uh-huh. I'm gonna hit the location button on the top left here. I need to turn on location services, so I'll do that. I may or may not have a GPS jammer or a GPS spoofer running somewhere. So turn on the location services. Okay, then go back to maps, hit the location button. And you see the location on the top right is turned on. It's doing some, ah, locating right here. It's using OpenStreetMap and it doesn't show anything. So it's probably not loaded yet set up OpenStreetMap account. So it uses, it seems to be using OpenStreetMap. Sign in to edit maps. I don't want to sign in right now. I just want to use it. So it doesn't look like I can really do too much in the maps, even though it says Google Maps, or it looks like Google Maps, but it really is just OpenStreetMaps. How do I close this? So it doesn't really let me do much. Oh, it opened up as another app, okay. Uh, it doesn't really tell me where I am or anything like that. It just gives me coordinates. So what if I want to go to 
the Statue of Liberty by Graf Hopper. Okay, so it doesn't really work out of the box and it opened up a web browser. If I wanna accept the risk and proceed, I could do that. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Yeah, this is this is too much for me. I don't want to set up a whole API just to route. So that's maps. It's not uh, it's not ready out of the box. Mobile settings, phone tour, power supply. This probably just tells me my voltage. Oh, like it tells me a lot of cool stuff. Um, sweet. Well, that's stuff I if I want to know about. Uh, this is the software. This is software that's built or ready to go on it. So it tells me what's installed. It tells me about updates and then stuff to explore. So let's look at develop. There's only one thing, dev docs. What's in work? Snap drop, squoosh, stack edit, diagram. So this is like very... Uh, this is very just generic stuff. Uh, this version of NetHunter did not come with the Kali Linux app or anything like that. So there is that, which I'll probably have to get through an APK. Portfolio, this looks like a file, yeah, file manager. And then here's a cool thing. It says show all apps and it shows show only mobile friendly apps. So I'm gonna click show all apps and you can see there's text set and there's Vim. If you hit Vim, this is like the home screen. It opens up like this text terminal prompt here. But uh, what I'm gonna to try to do on here is I actually have this wireless uh, external adapter using a friendly driver like RTL something, something, something. And this OTG cable for a type C. So I'm going to actually plug this in and see if this will work. So first, whoops, that power button is really sensitive. One, two, three, four, unlock, plug it in. This will make its light turn on so that has power. Fantastic. And now I want to see if I can zoom in. Here we go, zooming in. So pseudo, Air, Aero, uh, Airmon, NG. Password is one, two, three, four. Okay, what does it say? All right, so it says Wyland Zero unable detect chipset. So it doesn't seem to be reading. I'll try a different USB slot. This is USB 3.0, this is USB 2.0. So that might be an issue. There's a, there's really a lot of things that could go wrong with this. So, uh, okay. Now, let's do this again. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's kind of glitching out a little bit. Kind of adds to the the cool aspect of this, I guess. I'm gonna put it this way so it auto switches. Okay, so I've kind of glitched out the app, so I'm gonna close it, start it, oh, no. I don't want image viewer. Got to, so the cool part actually is I can put it like this too, um, upside down entirely. Why does it keep opening image viewer? Oh. We got terminal. So we'll do sudo, sudo airmon ng. And then we'll do the one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is what it says. Okay, so uh, y lan zero. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna hit the up. Start. Y LAN zero, let's see if it will work. 
air on monitor mode here. So uh, it does all the Kali things, but I just need to get a better OTG cable that I can read this. Um, but I'll do another video after I do some testing, but this is just a basic rundown of the applications on Kali Linux NetHunter. We've got some 3G, uh, if we wanna do some network connections here. So you can actually see your uh, SIM card connection working here. And then we've got the uh, Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for base Kali Linux NetHunter. And then uh, I'll make uh, another video at some point for actually the Kali Linux NetHunter app and getting an OTG cable that works so we can do some Wi-Fi cracking. So that's it. Take care and stay sharp and I'll see you in the next video.